gas can exhibit liquid-like behavior under certain circumstances. And when you put it into those certain circumstances, it will behave like liquid. And those certain special circumstances are called fluids. That doesn't make gas liquid. It doesn't mean that gas behaves like liquid. It does not. I'll say it a second time. You've hand-waved it. Gas expands in all directions. To fill the available volume. You understand the term I use is fluid, right? Yeah. You're using an equivocation and describing gas as though it was liquid-like by using this term fluid. That is, let's count one, two, the third time I've said that. Why are you ignoring it? And it's Why are you ignoring it? That you don't do it again. Uh, is it because it's the end of the line for this argument, Kosho? Is that why you're ignoring me? I've said it three times. Do I need to say it a fourth? Please acknowledge what I've just said to you about your equivocation between gas behavior. Me. Now you're talking through me. I'd like you to summarize my point that has demolished this argument of yours three times. That would be a summary that you're equivocating liquid-like behavior described as fluid with gas behavior, which it's not. Please summarize my demolition of your utter garbage. Please. All right, yeah. I will, but you have to promise to let me finish. I just suggest anybody just look up the word fluid, see what it says. Let's do that now. Kosho. Yeah, with Kosho, we were talking about the app mode and you went to hydro. You understand the problem? Yeah, I understand the problem, and it's. Gases and liquids are described as fluids because they've got similar properties at certain in, in certain uh, situations. But there is a difference between gases and fluids. A physical characteristic that is fundamentally different. Do you know what the physical characteristic that's different is, Kosho? So fluid, a substance that flows and is not solid. So under certain circumstances, high pressure, when you push all gas really close together, you can get it to behave like liquid, which is to say, in this example, that it would flow. Now, gas does not flow because it is unbonded. Liquids yes. can flow because when it's gas under certain circumstances behaving in a fluid-like manner, they can appear like they're bonded because they're forced together to flow that's what you could do with a gas when it's highly pressurized in a fluid like state but that's not gas gases don't flow gases aren't bonded to flow how's a gas gonna flow kosho because that's what fluids can do i don't know i, I mean it's an equivocation gas doesn't behave like that kosho gas fills the available space fluids on the other hand flow but gases don't you're just equivocating liquid behavior with gas behavior which it's not gas expands to fill the space so in your heliocentric model the gas would fill the space Over. Silence. I don't know if you if you're live right now, but if you want, we can restart the whole show, and I'll just pretend I didn't say fluid, and you guys didn't look foolish for ten minutes, and we can just do the whole. So, thing sorry, off. an ad hom. What, you think I look foolish? I've explained. I'll do it for a seventh time. <laughs> that you're using an equivocation fallacy to make gas behavior like bonded that it is, is expand to fill the available volume. In the case of the heliocentric world of bullshit, with a sphere underneath your feet and a gas void above your head in the form of a sky vacuum, the gas would follow natural law, expand and fill that volume, leaving us with absolutely no air to breathe. Now you equivocating with the word fluid doesn't stop gas being gas and doesn't change gas behavior seven times you think i look stupid kosho 
No, you've had your ass handed to you and your equivocation pointed out seven times. In tight, so. Mumble, 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 mumble. Simple ideas. Okay. Uh, Boring. Have you ever heard of a cold uh -oh. front? A oh, warm God. front? Here we go. Is there, <laughs> oh, is there airflow? Is, is there wind? Is there wind? And and cold fronts and air fronts on the Earth, right. Nathan. Brenda, Fucking nobody cares. No need she, she are there right, air currents? Are there air currents on Earth, Nathan? Who cares? How do we have air, Brenda? Air currents <laughs> on Earth. Oh, going going Nathan, in both directions. Keep saying the same Brenda. thing. Brenda. Armin agrees with you, but in a different way, Brenda. <laughs> yeah. The air flows in both ways. Does? Yeah. Well, yeah. Nathan said air doesn't flow. Well, it doesn't flow due to Nobody Coriolis cares. effect because Nobody then it would flow all in the same no, direction. Air, air in reality, flows in this realm, it, it doesn't. Flow. That's no, called, it's called weather, you fucking moron. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, no, exactly. Oh, not Coriolis man. effect. It's called weather. Air is a fluid. Oh, I see. That's air yeah, is gas. And, and how do you system. have that gas pressure it's all in the first place? In how do you have gas pressure in the first place without a container, Brenda? Um, you said the air is not a fluid, and it is because you can see. He asked you a question, you stupid bitch. Uh, no how need, are, no how do air streams exist on Earth if air is not a fluid? So you need containment first. Our question is in regards to gas pressure without a container. Given that gas expands no, in all no, directions. The, no, that's not the question. You're wrong. Yeah, it is. We've been asking question. it for months. You just want a different question that you want to answer. Yes, well, I want to talk yeah. about. Oh right, air well that's tough luck. Liquid our question, fluids. our question is in regards to gas pressure in the first instance. If you don't have containment, you can't have gas pressure because gas expands in all directions. In the in the in the air, we have atmospheric pressure that's different. How do you have gas pressure at all without a container? We have we have atmospheric pressure. How do you have it without containment? And, and the air that? and air flows like a fluid on earth it's what called the air stream made out of? and the jet stream brenda. sorry brenda you're Does ignoring my point flow, in the first instance Nathan? brenda you're talking about a delta of gas pressure i.e how the gas that's at pressure behaves well we want to know how you can have that gas pressure in the first instance without containment but you yet to answer that something we've asked for months but you're like no i want a different question Oh, you know the answer to that. It's gravity. Gravity's not a force. It doesn't matter. It's still, yeah, it does. It still yeah, it does. acts on yeah, air, it not to contain it. <laughs> it doesn't matter. No, it's just he the demolishment of your religion. It's at it, the bottom. It's a gravity so well. The Earth if you're creates saying it doesn't matter, gravity that well. there's a possibility that it's not a force then? Is that right, what you're saying? Have you ever seen somebody pour carbon dioxide, Nathan? How can you have gas pressure without a container? I just told you, gravity. You said gravity, and I said no. You ignored me. I said gravity's not a force, and then you started talking about gravity wells and bending of concepts, space time. Yeah, it doesn't uh, matter. Brenda, if it's Brenda, not Brenda, Brenda, now you're interrupting me. I don't get it. Now you're interrupting me. This is the point we got to last time. You hand waved it. Now you're interrupting me. What a shock. Yeah, I'll try and slow things down then, Brenda, if you're going to start interrupting me when I get to the summary of where you got demolished. You don't have to like it, but I will summarize it. Last time I got really annoyed because I tried three times. This is the second attempt. So, Brenda, we reached the point in the conversation where I asked how we can have gas pressure without a container, given that gas expands in all directions to fill the available volume. And you said the solution to that problem is gravity. My rebuttal. Gravity is not a force. You agreed and then started wandering off into the worlds of concepts and bending space-time. Now... While people no, might be... Uh, now, that's the third time you've interrupted me. Now, while it might be very interesting for you to tell me all about your reified concepts of space-time bending, I couldn't care less. Natural law definitely exists. It's easy to demonstrate. Entropy's real. Your bending concepts, on the other hand, only exist in your mind. Gravity is not a force. So that is not a solution to how we have gas pressure without a container. Now, at this point, I'd like you to address my rebuttal and then move on to the actual point. Still yet to be addressed. How you can have gas pressure in the first instance without a container. Feel free to first address 
first address, fourth interruption, the fact that your rebuttal was useless and the gravity is not a force holding gas pressure, and then get to the actual point, how you have gas pressure in your deluded world of spinning rock in a vacuum without a container. Okay, well, uh, gravity is the effect caused by mass creating a... Um, bending space time which and so gas exists at the bottom of the gravity well created by the earth and that's how you have gas pressure right gravity well what the bloody hell are you babbling about what where, where did it's the called a gravity from? well we're at the bottom of a gra gravity well because the earth creates a bending of space time space and so we're at the bottom of while it's fascinating to listen to you describing how you have reified bending concepts. Do you understand that sentence? Are you done? I'm asking no, if you understand. I, I, not, am I done? No, I'm not done. Far from done. I'm trying to get acknowledgement from you who seems to ignore these things when I say him, step by step, each part of what I'm saying, whether or not you understand it. No, Brenda, I'm far from done. You're retarded and it takes a long time. So no, I'm not done, love. I'm trying to get an acknowledgement of a simple statement that you've reified a concept of bending space-time. I want acknowledgement of that oh, before no, I can move on. So I'm definitely not done while you interrupt me. So, no, I'm not done. Do you understand that you've reified a concept of bending space-time? That's step one. There will uh, be more steps. No, I, I haven't. I haven't reified it. Show me space-time. Go. Um, space-time is all around you. Show it to me. Come on, Brenda. You got just a good look around. It's all around ah, you. Ah, just look one. around. What that's is this, Willy Wonka? Time. What? Yeah. Are we looking for love? Yeah, that's... Are we looking time. for love? All Look you. all around you. It's all around. Love is everywhere. No, it's a concept. It's not everywhere. Not look around, no. you dumbo. Shut up while I berate you. You little masochist. No. At least you can you take the pummeling. the difference between Shh. things and ideas. Hush now. You don't understand the Hush difference now. between love. Sit and ideas. Hush now, love. Sit yourself down, love. Let you, sit yourself you down. The more intelligent people are speaking about how you, you don't, don't understand. understand. Oh, she's going to flap and flounder while the educated people talk. You Brenda, have I got to shut you up? You seem to be continually talking through me now. Yes, Brenda. Space time like love can be no, reified. You frighten me. Brenda. You're just Brenda, I'm talking. Last chance. Then you're going to be removed. Like love which you can sing about being all around you, it doesn't change that love, like space-time, is, and by definition, a concept. Not real. Not physical. And when you take that which is not real and conceptual and actualize it into something that's physical and tangible, that is called reification. Now, you telling me that I can see something all around me when I can't is reifying a concept. Space-time is a conceptual well, medium. I'm going to have to kick you out, Brenda. You can't tolerate being told. Doesn't matter what tone I take with you. Speak slow, your, speak fast. Explain it once, explain it five times. You're going to interrupt me, aren't you? You're going to interrupt me, Brenda. I'm trying to slow down and explain well, how you, you have reified a concept. Forever and ever. I mean, it's yeah, I will. Boring. I'll do what damn well, please. How you're dare you? Boring. You're just a boring, stupid. Well, it's an ad hominem man. attack, isn't it, you're Brenda? A boring. But stupid ad hominem. Man. Time for ad hom. Bye, bye, Brenda. You've got nothing but ad hominem. So your response to me pointing out that you've reified a concept of space time is to tell me that I'm boring. Ad hom. I don't know how the donut. The hole in a donut of space time. Just look around, it's everywhere. Simply look around and view it. <laughs>